All right, hello, and Revo to Max here, and doing a, originally I was doing a reset and setup for face detection, but unfortunately that didn't transpire. Thought I was recording and it wasn't, put in new IP address, put in the name again, put in privacy mask, and I was looking at the recording to see how long it was so I could set up or, um, you know, to set up the actual face detection, and then I noticed it wasn't recording. So, here we are. We, as I was saying, have the name, privacy masks, and I changed the IP. So, with that said, let's go in here and set up face detection. So, in your smart plan, first thing you want to do is you want to pick the plan that you want. This here would be face detection. This is heat map, and heat map only works in the IVS. And same with people counting. So unfortunately, anything that you want to use with face detection will not work in, besides face detection. So click face detection, hit save. If we look on the live page now, we now have face detection. At, with a number zero. So let's go back to setup because we're not done yet. And here's where a lot of people go wrong. Okay. So now in face detection, we're going to enable this. And I always press save here. You possibly don't have to, but I always do. Now it changed the amount of light being entered. But we're going to change enable face exposure and enable face enhancement i set this up to 30 seconds and here's where people go wrong as i was saying currently this is set up for full page detect region okay the problem with that is is this area over here uh, well, okay, let's just stick with what we can see here. So if it tries to detect over here, and it will, it will try to detect this tree as a human. It will try to detect this as a human. That's because this is set up through the whole, for the whole area, right? The camera cannot reliably detect a human in that large of a scene okay so what you want to do is you want to click draw the full length i always just hit clear now it says please draw a rectangle and i'm going to say about right here uh, little small so I'm going to click and make it a whoops okay all right so now what that's going to do is anything with inside of this box it will detect we want to record we want a snapshot and we're going to hit save now, let's say there was a fence here, and everything that and this camera was positioned where you could see on both sides of the fence, and on this side of the fence was people you don't need to have the face detection on because they're allowed in there. The only way they can get in there is through, you know, a badge or a key or ID or something. Okay, so you could go here and you could exclude this part of the region okay but we want to detect this whole box area now another thing that might be important for some if you're getting you know false readings of people is you can hit the minimum and then clear it just for kicks and giggles but there's nothing to clear draw and now this is Oh, whoops, wrong one. Sorry. 
clear of that. We don't want to do that. I meant to. I don't know how that happened. Okay, draw here. And now we're drawing the minimum size face that we want. And we'll click that. Drawing is completed. Press save. Okay. Now, if you have the relay out connected and you want it to, you know, activate something when a face detection is done, then you would click here and then save. And then you'd be good. Now, my relay out is connected to something else, so I don't want to do that with this. And there you go. That's pretty much it. And you wait for somebody to go out there and go through, and it will detect somebody and send you nice little pictures. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Rebuild Max. Be safe.